Hi everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I just want to do a quick update video here around the uh, how to create a date table inside of Power BI. Now, I've created a few videos like this over the years, but I want to update it now because I've got a new methodology around how I create it, or I'm using a different resource is probably a better way to describe it. And I just want to walk through how I now create my date table every time I create a Power BI report or a Power BI model. And I, I literally cannot recommend it enough to follow this same methodology. You are going to save yourself so much time and the quality of your date table is just gonna be so superior to what you may be using otherwise, okay? So first place we need to go is in the inside of the query editor. So the in terms of the way that I create it, I, I, I'm not creating this any differently to have done it in the past. I use a blank query and then I go and input some, some code. Um, but I'm just going to use much better um, code that has been created by one of the enterprise DNA experts, Melissa. Okay. So I first of all go. I'm just going to quickly show it to you here. I'm just going to I'm going to literally show you how quickly you can do this by just and, and maybe just just talking a little bit around it. So I'm going to go new source and then I'm going to go blank query. Okay. And what this does is it brings up this query for us. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and jump to. I'm going to jump to, um, I'm just on it here, I'm just going to go quickly back to our homepage. So this is the Enterprise DNA forum. Anyone can, this is read, uh, this is a, a, the availability to read this is, is open to anyone. Um, if you want to actually actually be part of the forum and to access it, you do need to um, have access to our platform. Uh, so I'm just going to just jump back down here. Uh, so we've got a we've got a catalog, we've got a showcase of all of our M, so, so our top user uh, M code uh, snippets, right? And so M code is the code that goes into the query editor. Now, if I click into here, so you can you can navigate to this yourself as well. Uh, the very first one, it's it's our most popular topic in this particular category, is the extended date table, right? And so I'm going to click on this, and I'll make sure this this specific link is made available to everyone around this particular tutorial. Now. Melissa, one of our experts, who is just doing incredible work across many different aspects of um, Enterprise DNA's platform, especially on the forum, but has submitted some incredible challenge, uh, Power BI challenge submissions lately. But what uh, Melissa is our resident M guru, and so what she's done is she's created this comprehensive uh, resource for your date table. So this comprehensive code for an extended date table. So I used to use one myself and I used it for a couple of years actually that was just a more condensed version of this but Melissa's gone in and, and tried to understand every nuanced use of a date table and added relevant code to be able to generate that. So all you have to do is uh, come along here and highlight all of this, copy it, then jump back into Power BI and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the advanced editor here. I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to go control V, paste it in. And so you see how lengthy it is here. I'm going to go done. And then all we need to do is enter some parameters. So I'm going to go 1st of the 1st, 2018. And then I'm going to go 31st of the 12th, 2022, let's say. You can also input a financial year start month. So say my start month is July, I'm just going to put seven. What's also amazing here is that Melissa's enabled you to input holidays as well. And so if you have a custom list of holidays, there's a way for you to actually import import that list into uh, this particular date table. That is actually covered in another video on the channel, so definitely have a look for that. I think Melissa actually created that one herself because she's a contributor to, the, to, to, um, to our content creation as well. And then you can also input here a working day start number. So say, I think Monday is probably what one, maybe? Monday is one, so say Monday is our, our working day start number. I'm gonna put in one, okay? Then I'm gonna go invoke. And then you'll see here that this, this really comprehensive date table with every date combination or um, date metric that we could want is embedded into this particular table, right? And so this is gonna enable us to do time, uh, analysis or time intelligence type calculations so quickly and easily because everything we have everything we need is already here we don't need to input any additional columns we don't need to do any work to this particular table it has everything right and then so what i would do is i would generally change this to a dates um the, the name to the table to dates and then i would change this name to dates query because you always want to make sure that your your names are really intuitive right nothing has changed there okay 
If you wanted to say just change the dates really easily, really quickly as well, all you need to do is click on that particular table and you can come in here and make, make small updates to the numbers in here, right? And push enter and then just like that, you've now got a, a different sized date table. So literally creating your date table this way will take you less than 30 seconds and you will have everything that you need. So hopefully you can see why this is this is the ultimate way to create a date table. I have no doubt in my mind. I mean, this is the way I do it now. Um, I'm, all, I'm, I'm big on, you know, efficiency. Or I don't want to waste time doing something um, if I don't need to. And I, this is literally how I create every single date table from here on out. And I, I, I recommend you do the same. It's just such a superior way. The, the actual details within the table are superior. So the quality of your table um, is superior as well. So everything adds up to just a much better way to create a date table, right? Okay, and then I'll just go close and apply. And in my model now, I will have my date table. So that will just load up. And you'll see here that that's comprehensive tables in here now. Now, you you might find like you don't you don't actually need all of the data in this particular table, right? So you can very easily um, uh, update your table in the query editor too. So you don't have to settle for every single column here if you feel you don't need it. Um, so th there's definitely lots of um, optimizations you can can make to it. Easy. The other only other thing that I could recommend you potentially doing as well is that you can save these files as a template, right? And so you can always pick up where you sort of left off. Um, so instead of having to even do that 30 seconds, you could just save this as a PBIT file and then go and jump into your template, um, which starts off with your date table every single time. So that's another really simple way to do it. Okay, so look, that's all I wanted to show you. I just really wanted to highlight this new way I do things and I just think you should do it as well. Um, you know, you, sh you, you just don't need to create date tables with formulas. I just, just, I don't recommend it. You don't need calculated columns. You shouldn't have to do any custom coding. It's all there for you. You can do it in under 30 seconds. Simple, easy, quality, you know, done and dusted. Um, okay, so, you know, and you know, and as you should know, you know, you've got to have a date table in nearly every model you're developing. If you're doing any time type work, uh, a date table is essential, right? Okay, so let's wrap things up. Hopefully, hopefully you agree with me. Um, you know, let me know in the chat if you do, you don't. I'm happy to hear your thoughts, but you know, I'm really, really, um, I'm big on this. I believe in it. It's, it's, it's definitely the best way. Okay, uh, take care. Appreciate, um, appreciate you tuning in. Definitely throw the video a like if you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it. Really appreciate it as always. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Plenty of, plenty of great content um, planned and coming out uh, very soon. Okay, all the best.